as far as we know, the recent and current governor of Abia State, Dr. Alex Choma Oti, is doing a great job when it comes to cleaning and improving the city's infrastructure, especially in Aba, the commercial hub of Abia State. However, there is another crucial role we the citizens need to play to make our state and the southeast and south southern part of Nigeria a better place. And we are still talking about my experience in the Enyimba city. Hello and welcome to my African Village TV, your guide to the hidden treasures of Africa. Before I move into the challenges that we are facing in Abia agricultural sector and my experiences and very deep observations of what is going on, I want to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts and why this space is called My African Village TV. I want to say this because during the few days that I was in Abia State, <laughs> like I always say, I was struck by the rising cost of living. Not only were imported goods expensive, but even locally produced agricultural products faced soaring prices. You can say it is because of the inflation, whatever, but hey guys, we are talking about food security in the southeast and south south region of nigeria tomatoes meat and fruits essentials for our health were becoming unaffordable for many as i walked through the bustling streets of abba i couldn't help but wonder what will the situation be like in the next few years the reasons behind this predicament are multifaceted some people have lost interest in farming while others believe that life is better in the city than in the village our role as citizens is to encourage agricultural investment it's time for us to take action whether you're in abia state or anywhere around the southeast or even around the world consider sponsoring your families and friends and trusted individuals to engage in farming let me tell you, if you know what is going on in the world today, people like me, right now, from Morocco, I uh, relocated to Benin Republic for a reason that is far from agriculture. But when I looked at the way things are going, because if you watch surrounding countries around Nigeria, the field, everything that happens in Nigeria affects their neighbors somehow. And me coming to Benin Republic, somehow I started looking at food. I started looking, you know, at the cost of things, which are very, very affordable, by the way. But somehow, many years ago, I started desiring to farm what I eat. And I started having this urge, not just farming what I eat, but to store up things like gari, palm oil, and some other things. I embarked on it, contacted a few locals. If you are watching this video and you are somewhere in the village and you are somewhere in town wishing that you got a job, wishing that you start doing salary things, wishing that you look for work to do and they are paying you and all that, there is nothing wrong with that. But I want to talk to you, young man, young lady. If you are in a place where you are able to have access to farmland, you are a queen you are a king if you guys don't know people are living abroad people like us are living abroad to come home to farm you heard me right apart from farming your own food there are many opportunities in farming the people you think are living in america in jakarta in indonesia in europe are suffering <laughs> i am telling you this out of experience because by the time you earn your salary and the government will take their own tax and you will pay your house rent, water bill, light bill, your gas bill, what have you, you've got nothing left. And if you're at home right now, stop thinking that people in the diaspora are so rich. Oh, well, 
whilst there could be some atom of truth in that, I want to tell you that our brothers and sisters in the diaspora are suffering. I am telling you the truth. And right now, most of the things we eat and throw away, like the corn, Yes, ask your brothers in UK and in America to go to the supermarket and get a photo of it and send it to you and tell you how much they cost. The white guys are using those things to grow mushrooms. Ero, ero, kwimale, ero, ero. Yes, to mention but a few. There are so many things that you can do that will not cost you too much. Listen, that you have access to remove these things from the space of Nigeria into another space of, I, I didn't say abroad, I, just in the African space, you will see how much you're making. Something as common as charcoal, people will send this out and make millions. People will burn woods in the villages, pack their charcoals and sell them. So there are profitable business ideas. Any of it, palm oil, I mean, tomato paste. With all these things we are passing through with health issues, gary production, extracting of ethanol from cassava. <laughs> Guys, we've got some resources that the Westerners are dying to have. And I'm saying this with a cry in my heart because these things that I'm mentioning can make anybody a rich person today. Plus the fact that you are going to have more than surplus for you and your family. Think about that for a moment. Now for the people in a Boeing state and in some places where we have herdsmen challenges, you know, posing in the farms and grazing in the fields, kidnapping and killings and all that. I think we have to put together a petition to the governor so that something tangible can be done about it so that our people can have access back to their farms. We don't beg. Whether we are in the village farming, whether we are in the township trading, whether we are in abroad working, whatever it is that we find our hands doing, we do it with due diligence. And I want us, especially who are able to afford the internet to watch me today, to take it upon yourself, to talk to your family members. I know someone had expressed the issue of trust. Listen, let me tell you, this thing that we are talking about is food, food security. And I also want to reveal something to you. Remember, there's something I want to tell us about. One of the reasons the name of this channel is My African Village TV. I'm revealing just one of it today. And I want you to stay tuned to this. But hey, also the key beer. Whilst the governor is doing what he's doing, having Abia State in his heart, well, let's take a listen to one of his endeavors, to one of the steps that he is taking, and I will tell you the rest, and we'll just go into what I want us to talk about. Take a listen. Uh, Abia State is uh, widely known as uh, a state where all the opportunities are here, as the ones who exercise and to the best of uh, human knowledge what is in the agriculture and how it can be developed. You heard it. This is from Bulgaria. And the Abia governance is forward thinking. The government is partnering with countries, even Indonesia, to enhance our agricultural sector. That is when we talk about mechanical farming and all of that. These collaborations aim to leverage expertise, technology, and investment from these nations. Remember, the future of Abia's agriculture lies in our hands. Let's sow the seeds of progress and cultivate a thriving agricultural landscape. Also, the Kibia, let us get into the cocoa of the matter. Because I'm gonna see so many comments on this video that will tell me, oh, Wada, Splendor, Gozi, 
uh, one of my uncles is seizing our lands in the village. He's wicked. He's killing us. He's Guys, listen. I want everybody to understand today that we have to grow in the way that we think. We must grow. Listen, y'all, let me tell you. Live a healthy life. Live a very healthy life. Like, wake up tomorrow morning, go to the gym, work out, drink lots of water, take care of yourself. If you're a lady, I beg of you today, stop the application of relaxers on your head this is going to be another video for another day i just want you if you have a wife if you have a girlfriend bring them along because i'm going to do some expose health wise and some deeper things you see most nollywood actors apart from spiritual yes i recognize that there are spiritual things but let me tell you most of our evil brothers and sisters in the nollywood dying like chicken like the one that just happened recently, most of them, their lifestyles are not a healthy type. They drink a lot. Why wouldn't they have kidney failures? Why wouldn't they have problems in their systems? Why will their metabolic systems not break down? The other day, I saw people producing PAMI and all that. And the woman was using bags and bags of sugar to produce the thing if if you are in Igbo land in the south south and southeast and you are producing things you know that are fake that can harm people's health please desist from these things stop and i want every one of us to know that none of your uncles nobody wants to kill you nobody it's high time we press we hit the delete button you see you listening to me today you are my african village person you are my village person you are my village people <laughs> oh yes there are no such things as village people even the ukwensu has a name to tell you how powerful an average Igbo man is see the way we translate the name satan or devil is ikwensu onyekwe yesu let me tell you guys it is high time we stop this thing that they are using to divide us yes somebody might be not wanting your progress somebody might be going somewhere to do some incantations to do whatever for you let me tell you if you quella also if you believe it your believing in it is giving it power to work against you and the same way when you disbelieve it is when you're setting yourself free. And that is when you are nullifying anything that is projected against you. And especially if you believe that there is a God, you believe there is Chukwokika Biyama, you believe that there is a God who is supreme and sovereign over this earth, over human over everything. Why would you believe that your fellow ones can have the power over your life? You see where I'm going? So we must stop the village people mentality and face life as children of the sovereign God. Don't tell me I'm preaching. I am telling you how I'm able to live life and live a life that is full of fulfillment. Live a life that I can live it at my own pace. You might not see the billions yet, yes, but I have peace. I live healthy and I have whatever I want. And so please, 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 if you're in the diaspora and you're happy that you bought some grapes and they have no seeds in them, oh, this is what see when they see the need to throw those things away. I call them genetically modified nonsense. I think I'm going to make videos on these things. This is getting long. And yes, this is my observation. People with my village people mentality. They are dying like chicken. We have to stop. Whatever you believe is what control you. We have to stop at this point and take it upon ourselves to live a life that is worthy and leave a legacy for the next generation that is looking up to us. Don't pass this mentality onto your children. I'm wrapping up this video to say, like I said in the other video, Ago Dinobodo. If we must make anything work for us, if we must protect, provide, and take care of ourselves in this that is coming, it's a global force. 
that has hit this earth, we have to take it upon ourselves. Apart from what the governor is doing, we have to take reasonable steps, contract people who would do it for you wherever you can farm. You can have your surplus and sell, but at least you have something for you and your family. No one will say, brother, I have for a good me. Sister, please send us money for feeding. People must go home and farm. I'm stopping this video here. Share this video with a friend that will share it with another friend. We need to gather. We need to come together as a true village African people and take care of ourselves. Until I see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.